Welcome to Monopoly on the PS2. I'll go ahead and pick American because I don't think I could do a very good accent of whatever, whatever country that is. But anyway, this game was actually scheduled to be my last of the PS2 games because it was released in 2008. I planned on doing uh, Sims 2 Castaway and Iron Man first, but since it's the middle of the week, I'm going to go ahead and do Monopoly tonight because Sims 2 Castaway is a pretty long game. I'm going to wait till the weekend to do that when I have more time. I just don't want to be doing that in the middle of the week where it's... I'll be working, come home, i got time for one video, work the next day. So it'll be like the same thing over and over. I'd like to just play through continuously. And I'd like to remind everyone to subscribe to my channel. Look me up on Facebook. Same name, Jay's Retro Video Games. Click like on my page. Go through my photo album. You can check out all the games. I got pictures of all the games. It's got the, you can click on the picture. And on the picture, it's going to have the name of the game, the system that it's on, and it's going to have the release date, the publisher. Some of them I got the producers or creators, whatever you want to call it. Developer, I guess you could say. And I also have the link to the video. I got 66 NES games, 45 Super NES games. I've got one Sony Master System game, one... Or or that's Sega Master System, not Sony. I've got two Sega Genesis games, a few N64 games, about 10 PlayStation games, and probably about 15 to 20 PS2 games. Welcome to Monopoly! Time to make your fortune! Super fast riches game with your friends. Quick, make your choice and close the deal. Okay, so what happens first? Okay, we're going to play on the classic board. You've got a full passport. Let's review and see what we get. This board looks good enough to eat. I'm hungry just looking at it. My word, a new black passport. How wonderful. Yeah, every time you play this game, you get, like, passports and stuff where you can which pretty much unlocks new boards. Adjust my camera. Okay, now I'm going to pick two human players because. I notice the computer usually cheats, they always seem to land on the good stuff, I always land on the bad stuff. So I'm going to have to play player 1 and player 2 against player 3 and player 4, which would be computer.
pick the boat for this guy, player two. changes here. Okay, salary. Oops. Right, salary is going to be 400 bucks every time we go. Planning to go. I'm going to have a double the salary. House is available. Let's max that up. Free parking payout. Five hundred. Okay. Looks good. Now this game might be kind of long, a couple like an hour and a half. As you may or not be aware of, my camera can only record up to one hour at a time, so after one hour, we'll go into a part two. Welcome all! Let's roll to see who's up first! See, now they almost always get the highest roll, one of the computer players. still going to go in order. Player 3 is going to get to go first, and I'll do player 3, 4, 1, 2. So it doesn't matter what the other people rolled. something bad here. Oh, wow, you landed on chance. Go to jail free, I guess. Could be worse. I mean, it's not bad. Can't complain. I guess it's good. Oh, see, look at that. I didn't get to buy any properties yet, and they already bought one. Time to pay the rent. So that's why I have to use two players because it's like if they're going to cheat, then I'm going to cheat too. I'm going to be using player two to help player one, basically. I own zero. That's the way it always goes. What do you say? Buy or auction? 
Well done. That property's yours now. One important thing to remember in this game is buy any property you can, because even if you're not going to keep it for your own, you could always use it for a trade. It's up to you. Buy or auction. <laughs> you just bought yourself a property. Okay, so I'm going to sell this to player one for a buck. You can't give it to him. Let's do this. Okay, sell. So what I'm going to do is go to trade. Like player one. Okay, so I'm going to offer them the railroad. I'm going to ask for cash. Asking for a buck. And go down to deal. I've never seen anything like it. The game gets really fun when you own pretty much everything and you're just dominating the game. thing you want to remember about playing is offense isn't always the most important thing. Think of a like, defensive strategy too. It's up to you. Buy or auction. See, he owns one red property, so you want to buy that. And you don't want to trade it to him. If he's got two properties, you don't want to trade him that third one, because that's just going to help him. The deeds are in your name now. See, now, if I get the other red property, then I can go ahead and sell him or trade him for one of those red properties. You just don't want him to get all three because then he'll have a monopoly or he can build houses and hotels on them. start making some trades with the computer. What do you say? Buy or auction? The deeds are in your name. What a great investment. Well done. That property's yours. 
us now. Okay, what do I have that I don't necessarily want? necessarily worry about boardwalk because I don't right away anyway. Eventually I plan on buying it but I want to trade him for something that I can afford to get rid of. So I don't have to worry about him getting park place so I can go ahead and take my time and wait until I get something good. I want to wait until I own two of one property so I can trade one of them and keep the other one. on chance. It's just important to try to own at least one of every property early in the game and then you can trade some of them if you don't want. I usually try to keep the most expensive properties in. You pass go. Time to collect your salary. Oh. It's all yours. Oh, look at that. He's offering me three properties for Park Place. No way. And $500. Could have been a great deal. It would have been a great deal right now, but in the long run, it would have killed anyone who landed on the property. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. See, if I would have sold that property to him or traded with him, I wouldn't have got that money right there. Not that that matters, because that's small money compared to what happens towards the end of the game when you get houses. Pass, go! Time to collect your salary! You get houses. There's nothing more inevitable than taxes. That old guy needs to shut up. Anyways, when you get houses and hotels, we're going to be dealing with big money. Too. If you want one of their properties they own, you can just click the property. Let's see. That's 400 bucks. Mine's 60. So I'm going to offer them a property plus. Let's go with 300 cash and see if they take it. That's what I call a deal. Pretty good deal for me. Oh, I wanted to go back to accounts. I'm going to get the property to my player one. Yeah, this old boy repeats himself quite a bit. You pass, go. Time to collect your salary. There's nothing more inevitable than taxes. Just visiting. Yeah, it's funny. Every time he always says lucky you when he says another roll of the dice. It's funny if you land on jail. He'll say Luck, lucky you, you're going to jail. So there's like no break in between us. Two different phrases. It's kind of funny. Sometimes like lucky you, you have to pay rent. I'm sure it'll happen every now and then. It's up to you. Buy or auction. It's all yours. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, this is thrilling stuff. I'm gonna buy some stuff here. A trade, I should say. I want this. 
this, and this. Player two, I say deal. So I've got a monopoly now. I own Boardwalk and Park Place. You can't trade them once you own a monopoly. You can't trade any of those two, those properties. Just visiting. still properties for sale, you want to get out right away. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. If you're further into the game where all the properties are bought and you end up in jail, there's really no reason to keep going around the board because the most that can happen is you're going to end up paying rent. So at that time, you just might as well just stay in jail and keep rolling, trying for doubles. Waterworks for the railroads. I want that. Let's see, that's worth 200. So that makes 400. This is 150. So I'll have from 200 to. say these three games after I finish this game, Iron Man and Sims 2 Castaway. But that's not going to be the end of my uploads. I'm going to do full sports seasons. All my techno football games I'm going to be doing full seasons of. Not simultaneously. I'm going to be doing them in order. 
you've landed on a monopoly. I'm also going to be doing full seasons of like baseball, some of my baseball games, some of my hockey games. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. First full season we're going to see is Tecmo Bowl on the NES. A double. You get another roll of the dice. Lucky you. What do you say? Buy or auction? I'm going to buy this. The deeds are in your name. What a great investment. Two doubles in a row. What do you say? Buy or auction? I want the play into rolling a third double and we're all going to go to jail. The deeds are in your name now. Chest. Well, see, the luck actually seems to be going my way this time. It's up to you. Buy or auction. What a great investment. Properties. You're gonna give me a green, a light blue. I don't want a stupid maroon. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trade it. Get rid of that. I really don't want that. I will take the, this one though. Take the red one. What else does he have that I want? I suppose this is the next best, even though I really don't care for it. Green, red, and maroon for that, and 260 bucks, I suppose. So. I did let him get a Monopoly, but it's kind of a small Monopoly. You can't build any houses or hotels on it. And it helped me out a lot more than it helped him out, I think. You pass go. Time to collect your salary. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. You must no way. He's offering me a blue for yellow. I got a better idea. You give me your yellow. And I'll give you this blue. Oops. You offered me yellow. Very fine. What a deal! See, I don't mind giving them some of the lower properties. That's kind of like the ghettos, that lower line down at the bottom. Those are all real, real cheap. So I don't mind if they get a monopoly on the ghetto area. Relax, it's one of yours. Now, far right side of the board, that's the Hollywood area, that's what I want. Yes. 
See, landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent.
It's your property. Just enjoy. Each video will be an hour long, except for me, the last one might not be. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. It's your property. Just enjoy. Well, I want the other red one. I also need the other green one. Two orange ones. Maybe I can get one of the orange ones here. No. Nope. Just one short of getting one of them. When you land on community chest, you need to take a car. Could be good, could be bad, but it'll always be a surprise. You know how bad the luck is in this game, as I was mentioning earlier in the video? There was one time where I owned like almost every property. I had houses and hotels built everywhere. I landed on a community Chester Chance, and I thought the only card that would really hurt me is the one that says, like, pay a certain amount per house and a certain amount per hotel. And sure enough, just like a split second before thinking about that, I got that card. So I had to pay, like, tons of money for everything. I guess I got enough money where I go ahead and start putting houses up. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. Every time it's my turn, the controller vibrates too. I just thought I'd throw it in and go out there. What do you say? Buy or auction? Cool. Actually, what I'm going to do right now, since player 3 and player 4 are both right here on the green property, there's a good chance it could land on the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and buy houses, buy another set of houses right there. When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. And I'll wait a little bit before building houses on these other properties. Another thing you want to think about when buying houses, look at the position of the other players. See how close they are to certain properties. Oh dear, you've landed on a monopoly. That's the one, make general repairs, all those houses and hotels. Yep. Landing on a property with houses is expensive. The property decides how expensive a house is, and every house increases the rent owed. See, that's why I put a house, put houses on those two properties, because there's a chance to get a land there. waste any time building houses on their monopolies. I want that green property, so I'm going to trade him for one of the maroons. I got two of them. I don't, I don't need two of them. The railroad. Go. Time to collect your salary. When you land on community chest, oh, no way. you need to take a car. Could be good, could be bad, but it'll always be a surprise. Okay. I'm gonna trade. I want this railroad here. St. Charles Place. 
I'll choose this one. Because there is actually a card, either Chance or Community Chess card, that says Advance to St. Charles Place. So I might as well keep that one that way if they land up, they get that card, they gotta pay me rent. Right. Be a lot more fun to play like actual four players. You know, You've landed on a monopoly. See, eventually player two is going to go bankrupt, but by that time player one's going to own everything. You passed go. Time to collect your salary. Rent with houses? That's going to hurt. And see, watch, Yellow's probably going to buy another set of houses after this turn. You're in jail. You've got three choices. Roll for a double, pay the bail, card. or use a get-out-of-jail-free card. If you're lucky enough to have one, make your choice. There's still properties for sale, so I'm going to go ahead and use it to get out. Your property, just enjoy. Yeah, even after I'm done doing my full sports seasons, I'm still going to continue buying games like old Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, maybe some Sega. Genesis games, upload them on my channel. I might download some games in the week too. Relax, it's in your portfolio. I have almost all the Mario games. You passed go. Time to collect your salary. The owner has more than one transport company. Looks like this is going to be one cost. If you haven't watched my videos before, I usually do. I try to do full playthroughs through them. If it's a game I can beat, I'll go ahead and beat it. Otherwise, I'll play until I keep dying, or I'll play until I give up because I know I'm not going to get any further. Wow, you've landed on chance. So I beat the first Super Mario game I could not beat. The Japanese version. You've landed on Go! Payday! Japanese version one I couldn't beat. But Super Mario Bros. 2 I beat, Super Mario 3 I beat, Super Mario World, Super Mario 64. Beat Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Beat me. You passed go! Time to collect your salary. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. Beat Maniac Mansion. Remember them all. Quite a few of them I beat. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. Many sports games. Free parking is, well, free. So we did baseball stars on the NES. We did bases loaded. We did baseball. As far as baseball games, we've also done Super Nintendo MLBPA. PS2, we did All Star Baseball 2004. Just visiting. 
so many hockey games too. Ice Hockey, Blades of Steel on the NES, and the Super Nintendo, which is in NHL 95, 96, 94. PlayStation, we've seen... Time to take a chance. You could advance to go, go to jail, end up out of pocket, or even get a surprise. The NHL 99, NHL... Uh, something 2000. Championship 2000, I think. PS2 NHL side. I haven't seen too many basketball games. You've been locked up. It's just a short stretch. I've seen double dribble. Uh, I think that's the only one on NES. Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. I think we've seen a couple on Super Nintendo. That was it. One on Nintendo, two on Super Nintendo. We've seen all five Tecmo football games. It's up to you. Buy or auction. There's Tecmo Bowl and Tecmo Super Bowl on the NES. You just bought yourself a property. In the Super Nintendo, there was another Tecmo Super Bowl, and there was Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition and Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. You're in jail. You've got three choices. Roll for a double, pay the bail, or use a get-out-of-jail-free card. If you're lucky enough to have one, make your choice. You've got to pay to get out, I'm afraid. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. Check this out, I'm going to do something cool, well, when it's player one sometime. Gotta pay to get out, I'm afraid. Now, if you try buying properties off them, they usually won't sell you a property unless you offer them like, almost like triple of what it's worth. But if you trade with Landing them... Landing on another player's property means you have to pay rent. The more expensive the property, the higher the rent. But if, see, if you trade them another property plus money, sometimes you get a good deal, deal on it. Landing on a monopoly costs double bid. Easy money. So check. Oops, I guess I gotta wait till I have a roll. Relax. It's in your portfolio. So what I'm gonna do is trade them. These two properties, for this one, and I'll offer them a hundred bucks. What a deal! See, yeah, now I get, now I own two properties. bought houses when I had the chance. It's community chess time. You've landed on go. Payday. I still need the one orange property, one red property. That should be pretty much it. I don't care about the purple one down the bottom. You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. When you land on community chest, you need to take a cover. Could be good. Could be bad, but it'll always be a surprise. So look at that, it's like every turn player for player computer players always build houses. You know, we'll be up to hotels. Relax, it's in your portfolio. Okay, it's time to put up some houses here. Oh, what do I want to do? 
okay. It's looking pretty well developed here. Play another set. It's going to go over an hour. We've only got 10 minutes to the end of this video. I'm going to have to do a part Landing two. Landing on a property with housing is expensive. The property decides how expensive a house is, and every house increases the rent owed. It's community chess time. decides how expensive a house is, and every house increases the rent owed. It's going to be pretty sad if we go get through an hour of video still on us. Go! Time to collect your salary. It's your property. Just enjoy. Still three properties that haven't been bought yet.
time to pay the rent. I think Green's gonna be going bankrupt pretty soon. The only monopoly he's got is with the utilities. He doesn't make very much off them. It's community chess time. I'm still going to keep those two maroon properties because I want to use them for trade if somebody gets a red or a orange. Double. Wow, you've landed on chance. Time to pay the rent. See, that's what I was talking about before. There's a card. Go to St. Charles Place. I lost 10 bucks out of it, but at this point in the game, 10 bucks isn't much money. Own all those houses. Relax, it's in your portfolio. A utility monopoly. Hope you've got deep pockets. I wish I could sell something to player one or player two so I could get all his money. Maybe he'll get a property. The owner has more than one transport property. Looks like this is going to be one costly trip. I wonder if we're running out of time here in like three minutes. But I always. Free parking does what it says on the board. I always put part, the link to part 2, part 3, part 4, and so on in my videos in the subject box. It's up to you. Buy or auction. <laughs> Watch out, everyone. We've got a real player among us. Put some houses up on there too. Interesting. Oh. See a set of houses, 300. When you build houses, you increase the rent that other players pay. Just put three houses on each prop, one of those properties. Sometimes when you put the arrow on back, it won't flash. So you have to move it like up and then back down. Be annoying sometimes. Rent with houses? That's gonna hurt. And player two goes bankrupt. It'll help speed the game up a little because that's one less player that'll be going. has more than one transport property. Looks like this is going to be one costly trip. Yeah, see, he had to mortgage one of his properties. See that red slash down in the St. Charles place? And in the purple one at the bottom? He had to mortgage two properties. Oh! The deeds are in your name. What a great investment. I'm buying the property. And then... There's only one property left, but who cares about that one? You've landed on another player's property. Time to pay the landlord. Imagine that, the one I want, too. 30 seconds I'm left. Excited. Okay, so we're going to trade this, one of these. Propose. Okay, we're out of time for right now, so see you in part two. Hope you're enjoying the game.